In this video, I'm gonna show you a cool way to get great content for ChatGPT so it can write blog posts for you, even affiliate content. It'll be great content, very well researched. However, I will tell you this is potentially unethical. And do I advise you to do this? Maybe not, but this is just information and you can do what you want with it. So we're gonna use ChatGPT. We're gonna use YouTube and some other resources as well. The other thing we're gonna use is originality.ai. That is an AI detector. So you could put in text and it'll tell you if there's some likelihood that there is AI content in there. The goal will be to create content that isn't detectable by AI detectors like originality AI. However, that's a tall order. These tools are getting better and better all the time, but we'll see how it goes and maybe we can do a decent job at it. Now, one thing that I wanna point out is Google's stance on AI content, which you could read this document, but basically Google is okay with AI generated content as long as it's not spammy and is somewhat helpful. And I, know, I mean, Google is a little hard to trust with their algorithm in general, but if you read this document, they're okay as long as the content is helpful. So what we're gonna do, number one, we're gonna hop over to a good YouTube video. I arbitrarily selected this one here from the wire cutter. That's a great place to get some really in-depth research and information. So this is best pencils for writing and schoolwork. So all you have to do, you don't even have to watch the video. You can click the three dots right here, go to show transcript, and then you have the whole transcript right here. If you have the timestamps on there, all you have to do is click the three dots here and click, I don't want those timestamps in there. So you select all of the text here and then you just copy it. And we're gonna copy it over and we're gonna put it into a Google doc, which I already did. And I just wanna do that so that I can get like the total word count here. I'm just curious what the total word count is. So it's 1700 words. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna head over to my chat GPT and we're using GPT 3.5 because more people have access to it. I do use GPT plus and I do have access to four, but a lot more people have 3.5. So I'm just going to put in the, I'm gonna put in the text here and I'm gonna say, hey, can you, can you write a blog post? All right, and we'll see what we come up with. And while it's writing, cause it's gonna take a second to write this, I am going to take the same content and we're gonna go over to Originality AI, which is a paid tool. I am an affiliate, so I get a commission if you use it, but it's a great tool. And if you're using AI at all, highly recommend that you check out this tool. It's very useful. So I don't care about plagiarism because it's a you know YouTube transcript. So I don't think it's written anywhere verbatim. I'm just gonna say detect AI. So this is the pure script. This does not have any you know, AI issues at all. So it says 99% original, so that's good. So now we have the blog post here and it looks like it's compressed it uh, uh, quite a bit, but we have a rewritten blog post based on the script. It's a little bit short, but for the sake of today, this is just fine. And I'm just curious, we're gonna do a new scan. I need to click new scan and then I'll paste in what ChatGPT has written here and I'll say scan. We'll see what happens. So now it's saying it's 100% AI. That's not great. And uh, surprisingly enough, I actually did this test earlier and it was uh, much better. It was more like 50%. So let's see if we can rewrite it and maybe get it to be a little bit better. So I'm just gonna say rewrite with a casual tone and I'll, I'll give it someone specific in a tone, maybe Tim Ferriss. So we'll see what we come up with here. Like I said, I don't necessarily recommend that you do this. It is somewhat, I would say unethical if you don't do any other input or anything like that. So let's say you were doing research and you wanted to check out videos. I think it's a perfectly valid way to do research. Read some blog posts, watch some videos, and then you end up with maybe some unique information and insights based on that. So this looks a little bit longer, which is kind of a good sign. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna scan it again, see if it's a little bit better. So it's still saying 100% AI. It says it's only 386 words, so that's not great. 
And let's just try one more time here. And by the way, if you, if you have any suggestions in the comments on how to do a better job not being detected by originality AI or other tools, leave a comment and a quick shout out. You can get a cheat sheet. I think probably the most powerful prompt that you can use is a prompt generator. So you could just put in a title and then it gives you a full prompt, which you could use for ChatGPT. You could use it for Bard or anywhere else that you want to try to use it. And I just keep using the same chat bots after I, I train them. So let's hop back over here and let's just try one more time. And we'll say, you know, rewrite, we'll say rewrite it in a tone that isn't like AI. So I said, write in a tone like Seth Godin and make sure it's not like a, an AI writer. I'll also give it very specific guidance, like use short, punchy sentences. I think once you figure out the right prompt that is not as detectable, then you'll be able to use the same one over and over again. So now it's, it's way too short. So I'll say make this five times longer. All right, so let's, let's try one more time. This one was much longer, so I'm going to have to divide it up and paste it a couple times. Let's see if it is detectable. Okay, so it's processing here. It's still saying it's all AI. However, the thing is, Google is telling us that they don't care if it's AI content as long as it brings value. So what should you do with this information? Well, I'm not sure. I think it can be a great way to do research. For example, you can get transcripts from multiple videos and then build a better piece of content and then maybe use a tool like ChatGPT or others to write based on a detailed outline that you've created yourself. That could be a cool way to do it. Should you do this just verbatim, like take a transcript and have it rewritten? I don't know. That seems a little bit not cool to me, but I think you could use different pieces. For example, you could check out some of the other videos and you can see how to do very good research for your outline, creating a content brief and going from there. You still would need to potentially fact check. You would have to maybe input your own data. So for example, you could go to a manufacturer's website get all the technical specs for a specific product, put that into ChatGPT, and then it will write the content based on the real actual specs. So you don't have to worry about incorrect information in there. So that's just a couple examples, and you can get the cheat sheet for prompt generating. There's a lot of other stuff, it's uh, free. You just go follow the link in the description and you can download that cheat sheet in just a couple minutes.